on the top here again, we fold it over. This time I'm only going to stop the stitching at the top here. I'm not going to carry it all the way down. Or should I? I think The only thing is, it's going to be difficult to sew in this one. Let's do the same thing with the other one. It's like I did with the first version but now I'm doing it up the top I'm going to fold it in just like I did the first one but I've only done it um, half the distance There we are. And that's what it looks like from the inside. So it's capped. So 
and that's what it looks like from that side so here we have our goblet there we have our pinch pleat and here we have you say our pinch pleat flattened and then we've got our pinch pleat here from the top now is the arm packed away Hello, we finished the valens. <laughs> Hello, so we finished the valens behind me, and this is what you're going to make today. What I've done is, please, I've noticed that I have put the fabric upside down, so um, don't worry about this. This is for the purpose of showing you how to make it. What we've done here is we've got a phalanx that's got the swag like and I've put some tassels on it this time and what I've done because this is a, a demo we have a, a funny style here which is which is um, pinch pleat but the top bits flatten so it's made in exactly the same way um, as a pinch pleat. Here we have goblets as I showed you it's stuffed but it's goblet with a different I decided to do this type of a shape to it so that, that was quite sweet. I've done it with all of them to show you the white instead of the conventional way where it's just straight up the top here and it's not showing. Here again as well we have the pinch pleat but the pinch pleat this time, it's it's pinched at the bottom here. And right along there, we have the pinch pleat, but it's pinched at the bottom. So of course with this one, with this one, this one's pinched up the top. Now the purpose of all this as well, even though we've done this, we can now dress this up by putting Here, if we just use a bit of imagination. This is the wrong colour, but if you just use a bit of an imagination and jazz it up. Jazz it up with rope in. You tie a knot in it and you jazz them up. And you have this going all along. Tie a knot in it and jazz it up. In a contrasting, that would really look nice. There's a lot of things you can do with it. You could even keep this off of it as well. And you will show the white coming through here be quite nice but anyway that's what i've done i hope you have fun in making this please let me know what you think about it my website is www.deswaz.co.uk and if you'd like to email me it's deswags at hotmail.co.uk let me know what you think about it, please. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Let me just show you the back at the same time. That's what the back looks like. Thank you for watching my show. <laughs>